we need to adjust uh, the background parameter to adjust to I want to use a four degree polynomial over here and those are not too much satisfied from the fact here you see the intensity is also still going a little bit down so I want to cut a little bit more here so 8.9 into theta in the range here I put 8.9 and I go to the background function and I add uh, to the polynomial background two more parameters to get a four degree polynomial okay now I can start to refine let's see how to do it uh, well, it's always better to adjust manually uh, as much as possible your pattern is what I do so we will require less iteration later so here I need to go to the background uh, here and I adjust the background value uh, let's say by 20 in steps so I increase the background to get the fit okay and we can check also what happen if we work also a little on the Cagliotti here for example we go and we change this value by 0 0.001 okay is already nearly too big let's leave the program to refine it okay i open the other window with all the parameter and i check which parameter i i need to refine uh, i can already refine a lot of them because I, it's quite nice this one so i have first to say i want to refine all the background okay here well i can say uh, free background so let's see there was no refresh but if we check uh, okay the background is now refined uh, yes if you need to increase the window here do it uh, adjust as you prefer and uh, now i want to refine the intensity so background and intensity for sure and then i need to refine the calibration okay so what I want to refine is the sample detector distance that we don't know correctly the center x and center y the, the error on it and the tilting of the detector always refine also the tilting you will never get a perfect detector at 90 degrees respect to the beam it, it always has some error it is impossible to put it correct so the wave ring we leave fixed okay and then we can refine also the Cagliotti okay here already uh, the Cagliotti we just refine two parameter we may use three of them but two are sufficient and the uh, gas coefficient we uh, prefer to refine later okay now going down here no oh, these are all the, the pattern and then we are going here we do not refine the side parameter for the silicon side here we have crystallized size and micro strain but we set to no line broadening for the sample so this will not be used and then we probably need to refine the b factor so actually you can refine the b factor for both atoms separate okay nothing more okay close now if I want to check, uh, I can check under option here. We are using the mark of this square and five iteration. Okay. 
Uh, okay, before to start the iteration, normally it's a good uh, uh, idea to save uh, the starting uh, model. Okay, so I go to image 2D, I save, okay, here, dot par, save. So, uh, in case something goes wrong, I can recuperate the starting and not to do everything again. Okay, let's start. Now, now let's start to refine. Okay, and we can see the progress over here. Okay, second iteration. Already start, we start to get something good. Or maybe better. Good uh, still is not uh, something can use. Okay, while the RW is 12, let's check first our line. Okay, now you see if we check, for example, we were looking at the line over here, well, the, the part below, this part below here, is this, are the experimental patterns, 72, and then over here are the recalculated one. But you see now they are nearly straight. There is still uh, some room for improvement, but we are nearly there. Okay, no more wave over here. So control click. Uh, we check also over here because we are more sensible here. And okay, it's straight. Okay, so we got uh, a correct calibration. Looking down here, you see uh, factor. He refined the sample detector distance to 1071.4 uh, and the center x and y we were quite far from the value we impose and then well the image tilt is uh, just a little so the image was already the detector was put nearly or well, was put very well the tilting is mean, but in any case, we need to refine it. Okay, uh, now uh, we have the Cagliotti. If we look at the plot over here, I'm not still start satisfied with the, the big shape. Okay, here, and so we can refine for the Gaussian part here and probably is a good idea to, to put the third Cagliotti coefficient here. Okay, let's start again and see if we get some more improvement. Yes, we have Actually, for uh, yes, now we have uh, nine, and we have uh, all of them here. Uh, it could be uh, reasonable the refinement here. Uh, there is still room for improvement, but uh, uh, in principle, it could be sufficiently good for an instrument uh, broadening. Determination.